Hey guys and welcome back to new vlog. Today is Sunday and yesterday like the footage that you saw before this uh, my boyfriend and I just went like around the mountains. One of our favorite things to do in Cape Town just like drove around and just saw some scenery which was so so nice so that's how we started off the weekend. So today is Sunday. I just went and got myself one of my favorite Woolies coffees which is almost finished. Need to have the last sip. And my boyfriend Chris is playing golf today, so I basically like have the whole day to myself, which is so awesome He'll probably only be back around 3 so I just wanted to go and it's still early morning It's like 8 o'clock right now I normally try and wake up as late as possible on the weekends because I never get to sleep in um, Because of work, so I don't know. I just feel like I need some outdoor time I just want to go to the beach and just like sit on my favorite rock here in Cape Town. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous Let me go sit on my favorite rock um, But it's one of my favorite beaches called Lindadno, which is literally like 20 20 minutes away from here I just need to get out there and just kind of clear my mind and just sit there a bit and just listen to the ocean and just see what's going on there and just see a bit of scenery so let's go to the beach I'm back from the beach. I wanted to show you guys because I put these beautiful nails on which are from Express Nails Which I showed you guys before and I just wanted to do a little Instagram post I thought it was so kind that they firstly sent me these and secondly made me a pair that I literally just posted about on Instagram I didn't obviously expect anything in return So I just wanted to take a little post with these beautiful nails and I literally I'm gonna go drive around to find like a pink or purple bush so that I can take a nice photo with these nails and do them justice So let's go find a bush literally want flowers exactly like that but I feel a little bit awkward I don't want to like step on someone's lawn and then they see me so I need to go find another bush let's go have a look guys I think we found our bush right there and I'm literally just putting this on my arm like I'm not putting the full top on so I want the shot to be something like that whoa my hair looks literally crazy also i'm having a makeup free day again i feel like i just do not look presentable in my vlogs but you know what this is me i ain't ashamed so i literally just posted that to the gram i just said love these cute press on nails made by studio x underscore bfn hashtag support local and then i just added like a little boomerang and you guys know the tea behind this post i literally hijacked someone's bush at their front door <laughs> Okay, it is now lunchtime. I need to eat something and then I wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes of how I film Instagram reels. I've gotten a few DMs of people that wanted to see that so I thought I would incorporate it in today's vlog. So I'm just going to have some lunch. That is step one of filming an Instagram reel. I promise you, eat, nourish your body. You do not want to be hungry in the middle of filming. So I'm going to have some lunch and then we can get into how I film my Instagram reels. Also, quick update on the storage unit. Builders Warehouse got back to me and I should have a new one tomorrow. So let's hope. No joke, I'm literally filming in the kitchen next to the washing machine and I've got all my products over there. I really just wanted to watch a Christmas movie and just kind of chill out while I do my makeup and I can watch it on the big screen, not on my laptop. So this is how I'm going to film today. I've got my camera over here, which is the Canon M50 and then I always use a 50 millimeter lens. So I guess one of the first steps to do is just like lay out your products in front of you wherever you're doing your makeup um, and just have whatever brushes you need ready just so that everything is in one place and when you're doing your makeup you don't have to like scratch to find things just to make the process a bit easier um, and just to make it a bit more efficient and not as stressful and then today I wanted to use my Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette which I absolutely love it's so so gorgeous and another thing that I do is plan out what kind of look I want what kind of colors I want um, and because an Instagram reel is only 15 seconds long, you really don't have that much time. You need to basically break up the steps of your makeup look and how you're going to fit that into a 15 second frame. So I think I'm going to use, this could change, I feel like using maybe the orange, like this pink, then the purple, and then maybe a blue. Use this white liner for like a graphic liner kind of look. So if I just quickly think about it very roughly, I'm going to spend like two seconds on that, two seconds on that, two seconds on that 
two seconds on that which is eight seconds then i've got the liner to do probably spend another four se seconds on that which comes to 12 seconds and then i've got three seconds left at the end of the look two plus two is four minus one that's three quick maths to basically film like a whole face shot of me with the entire look if that makes sense and i just stuck this piece of cardboard which has press stick behind it i just stuck it onto this little bookshelf like oh my gosh this is a mission like that and that's how i'm getting that white background and because i'm filming like a very quick tutorial like i'm not going to be super zoomed out my face is basically going to be here and all you're going to see is like a little bit of the white and i have natural light coming from this side and then another thing you need to think about when you do instagram reels is what your thumbnail is going to look like so i definitely because i just love this product so much i think it looks so pretty i want this to be my thumbnail so i'm most likely sometimes i do just take it from the actual video itself but i'm going to try to take a nice photo of this in the sunlight just so that it pops and that i can get nice photo of it for my thumbnail so i'm literally just taking my white piece of cardboard outside and i'll most likely just take the picture it's literally just on the bench and i'll just take a picture like that So I just finished off this eye first. So that's normally a thing that I do. So I'll always do my brows first and then finish off one eye. And then I'll only film the process of this eye for my Instagram reel. So right now I'm just gonna film this eye and then I'll go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup, like do the full face and then come back to finish off like the final shot for my Instagram reel to show off the whole makeup look. I'm just finishing off my iced coffee and I think this is such an important thing to, to say. I feel like this is a thing that a lot of people don't really speak about. When I film and when I do like my Instagram videos or IGTVs or whatever Instagram reels, try and make your surroundings a vibe. Like I just put on a Christmas movie. Like I'm just sitting here having fun doing my makeup while watching a Christmas movie. Like either put on loud music, put on your favorite series, your favorite YouTuber. Make your space a vibe because whatever vibe you're feeling, however hyped you're feeling, how happy you're feeling, that translates into the video. Um, and it's just like it just makes the whole process a lot easier and a lot nicer you don't want to make it feel like oh oh my gosh i have to film now like i have to film for two hours oh rather think of it like yay i get to film now like make it a vibe make it a hype like enjoy it you know so i just finished off this eye over here look who's with me it's my baby boy this is teo i know i always show ruby but he is like my everything he's such a sweet little cat okay so woo. Finished off that eye, filmed all the steps for that eye. So now next thing to do off camera, I'm obviously not filming this for my reel. I'm just gonna pop on my lashes and I thought I would show you guys how I do this. A little bit of lash glue, you don't need a lot. I'm just using this one over here, which is from Adele. It's their Lash Grip Clear Adhesive. And I've let this dry for a while. I'm not joking, I think I wait about two minutes. Like I wait a long time with this one. I mean, it depends on what kind of glue you're using. First thing I do, this is a little bit difficult with my long nails, I'm not used to this. I put it onto the eye. So basically secure it to the middle, let it chill there, then I secure the outer edge, make sure it's down and press it into like the lash line. I'm going to secure the inner corner and that's the last thing you do. So secure that and then you're going to want to push this into the upper lash line to make sure that the whole band is stuck to your like lid near your lash line so that it's all stuck on there and you don't have gaps of where it's stuck on and where it's not. Press it down and then I always like use my fingers to kind of like clamp the falsy and the real lash together and that is lashes done and then I sometimes just want them to stand up a little bit like higher like this so I just kind of like blink onto my finger. So also while I was filming my reel, I mean this happens, I don't completely like to the point plan out what I'm doing in my Instagram reel but I also wanted a video of the eyeshadow palette that I was using so I just also filmed like a little thing of that like what the palette looked like and then opened it so you could see all the eyeshadows then I filmed one eyeshadow two three four eyeshadow the wing the little accent um, and now I've obviously gone ahead and I'm doing the rest of my face and then I think the last thing I'm gonna film is like me putting on lip gloss I'm literally like overheating this was the wrong day to do this the wrong day oh my goodness guys you'll never believe it I actually have to show you this so you know this builders warehouse unit that has been the nightmare of my life builders warehouse just messaged me on Facebook and they have now arranged for me to collect my new unit tomorrow from a builders warehouse close to me after I fetch that we can do a whole little makeup organization vlog which I'm really excited about I feel like this is also another thing that a lot of people don't see when people do like content creation your hand will constantly look like this and you actually need to like consciously remember to remove it like when you're doing like your poses oh, oh, 
you know. <laughs> but now I wanted to add some highlighter and because we've got like a pretty colorful look over here, I'm going to use my Rach Loves Pixie Highlighter Palette. And I wanted to dip into this um, purple shade over here and add a little bit of highlighter. Holy crap, that's a little bit too much. Oh lord. This is turning into a makeup tutorial now. I think I'm just going to use this orange shade. So I'm just using my Morphe M321 brush and adding this to the lower lash line. Oh wow, that's like super, super orange. E, I don't know if I should have done that. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of pink to the outer corner as well. Yeah, that's a bit better. I just overlined my lips quickly and I'm just going to go for a chilled lip. Like I wanted to do maybe a purple or like orange kind of lip, but I think I actually want to go with a more like pinky nude. I'm using the Avon True Color Glaze Wear Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Perfect Nude. It looks like this and honestly it is incredible. So I'm just going to apply this now so that we can see if this is the lip combo that I actually want. Yeah, that looks nice. I actually quite like it. So like I said earlier, I have already applied my lip gloss and the lip liner and all I need to do now is basically make as if I am applying this in my video. So in the reel now when I go and film it, I'm literally just going to go like this. And that will be the piece of content that I film and add to my reel. So it is actually the next day, no it's not the next day, it's the day after that. Today is Tuesday, I just finished off a makeup look, I finished work and then just got straight into my makeup. I really just wanted to play with this palette, this is the Be Perfect Clientele palette which looks like this but where we left off on sunday i just wanted to show you guys how i edit my instagram reels i do everything on my mac this is a macbook pro which looks like this um and i just use imovie it's free on a mac it comes standard on a mac so that's what i use and it's very very simple so basically what i do is i import all of my clips put it onto my timeline and then basically just chop and cut all the little sections that i want in my video Okay, so I've now cut all my little sections that I want in my video. I also just added like a little clip over here just showing like the actual palette that I'm using and then me just like applying the eyeshadow in steps, me applying the eyeliner um, and then I think I'm actually just going to take out me like applying this lipstick over here because it's 0.6 seconds long and I actually don't like that clip so I'm just going to delete that. So now our clip is sitting at 17 seconds, obviously a reel is 15 seconds so what I do just to make sure that this is 15 seconds on the dot, I go and import a random song here, I'm literally just importing Kanye West Stronger <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll trim this song to 15 seconds. So if you guys can see this over here, this green is the song, right? So I'm going to drag this to 15 seconds on the dot, which is over there. So now you can see we have a little bit of an overlap. So if I just look through, like, which one is the longest clip? This is one of the longest, 2.2 seconds. That's quite a long time. So I'm going to trim that down a little bit, just dragging it. I'm also just going to trim down where I model the makeup. I'm going to trim down this. I'm also going to trim down this carnival palette being shown. I'm actually just going to trim down me blending this eyeshadow because I don't really need like a long clip of that. I feel like this could be quicker so I'm going to speed this up times 4. Also just a little shortcut to cut and trim your clips. You just go command B and it splits it in half so that you can delete and cut whatever clip you want out of there. And I'm actually just going to go fast forward times 2 on this clip and there we go. Now it all fits into 15 seconds. So I'm just going to look through this one more time. Let me actually make this big so that you guys can properly see. It's crazy, 15 seconds isn't long at all, but this is what it looks like right now. So just adding the eyeshadows, so that's all like one to two seconds each. Then we're going to blend it out, add the liner, which I sped up nicely, and then you model it. And that's literally at 15 seconds, super quick. And then all I need to do is export this, so I'm just going to go over here, share project, file, I just named it Color Baby. Um, and then go next and then that exports to your desktop and then I just airdrop it to my phone and then I'm going to add it to the gram and that's it and now you guys can properly see what this looks like and now obviously all I need to do is add this to the gram um, do my caption and then add some music on top and then before we end this vlog remember I told you guys I got the most beautiful PR package like honestly one of the most beautiful packages I think I've ever received look how cute this hat is a vibe imagine with a little bikini do a little moment i don't know um but this is from caribbean tan i'm just like so in love with this hat it's so cute it's from mr price um i just love how it looks and i'm just gonna wear this it's a vibe 
Um, and they gave us Javianas in my size, size 5, which is lecker. And they also gave us these little cute pamphlets and it's really sweet. Like, I love the attention to detail. Like, fun activities to do in Joburg, fun activities to do in Durban, in Cape Town. Like, it's just, I don't know, I love that kind of like a touch to a PR package. It's really cute. And then I got this beautiful cosmetic bag. How stunning. I got a little tanning mitt. Some tissues. Who doesn't need tissues? We got some glasses, which are not really my style, but I'll put them on for you, you know. This, if you guys have not tried this, honestly, one of the best things ever. This is their exfoliator, so you do that prior to your tan. And then we still have these. I just love this. Like, how beautiful is this bag? And you can stuff so much in it. Got the tan in a can, and then the bronzing mousse, and then also the, I think this is the instant, yeah, the instant body tanner, which is awesome. Perfect for summer. This hat is not coming off. I'm sorry. Guys, you will never believe it. Builders Warehouse came today to fetch my faulty unit. So the previous one that I bought that you guys obviously saw in the last vlog, um, they didn't have that one in stock and they said I was going to wait like three more weeks and I literally said like, listen, no, I bought this thing as a storage unit for my new place and I really just actually want to get going and put stuff into the unit, you know? More of like a chest of drawer kind of feel. I'll show you guys like a little snippet now, but it arrived in a box so I still have to assemble that. And that brings us to the end of this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope that showing you guys how I film my IG reels and just kind of a little bit more of the, like the behind the scenes i hope that that was helpful for you please like and subscribe guys and i'll see you in my next video where we're going to organize makeup bye